Hello and welcome back to Minecraft Hardcore 1.17. 1.17 of Minecraft is finally out and we are running the full version of 1.17. Very excited about that. Also, I've done a little bit of work off camera. So I have added this textured floor in here using the whatever these are. Light gray, uh, gray terracotta. Now, can I actually place it down the way it's supposed to? There we go. I also added the stone brick flooring and the uh, wall right here. And yeah, in the last episode, we did some, we organized this and we expanded our farm upstairs, which I haven't actually been able to, uh, to fully add stone bricks to just yet because I have been using them inside the house, but uh, maybe we'll be able to do it today. I'm not sure because we do today have a project. Oh, and the potatoes are going well and the trees are growing. Um, today we have a project. In the last episode, we also found a cave spider spawner. In fact, we found two. Um, and I want to use that. I want to use that, which is why I have this stuff in my inventory right here. Um, because we will be actually going ahead and building a spawner thing for that spawner. All right, that is all the stone brick I have for now, but it is looking good. So I think I have everything I need. Maybe I should grab a bed with me. You know what? I should probably grab my bed with me. Um, yeah, because I will need to sleep because we do need to build some stuff. Uh, I don't know if I have to build a full box around it. We're going to find out. I'll leave a link to the tutorial I'm following down below in the description as well. But let's grab the bed. Um, I also, I also should equip my shield just in case. Um, I also want to check out the nearby biomes, which we should have very close to the spawners as well. Um, now, if I remember correctly, it should be in this direction, but I may be wrong. So let me cut here and I'll be right back when I have found the spawners and maybe the biomes as well. All right. I think I found it. The spawner should be in this vicinity right here. Now I want to continue a little bit forward uh, because I do believe if I'm not mistaken, that we do have some other biomes very close by to this area. I think in that direction and also in that direction. In fact, I think I see a desert over there. All right, I found the spawner right here. I have marked it. There should be another one, but I think it's in there somewhere. But I'll look a little. I'll look around a little bit. But um, that's the spawner right there that we will be hopefully working on today. And would you look at that? We have a village. <laughs> I did not know that there would be a village right there. All right, let's sleep and let's take a look at that village before we go ahead and start building that spawner. That's actually really good. If we want to ever do something with villagers, we know we have some very close to home. But even cooler is that I think I see a blacksmith, so we might not even need diamonds uh, in order to to get to the nether. That would be pretty cool, if you ask me. But let's see what we got here. We also have a desert close by, actually. A very, very small one, mind you. But hey, desert is a desert. It's not a small village either. Look at that. We also have some some cows. We got an iron golem here. If we ever want to make an iron farm, this, this village will make it very easy. So we have the forest here. Then we have actually some... Looks like some extreme hills over there as well. And a ravine. We even got a... Okay, he's looking at me like... Hey, what you doing? Um, yes, hey fella, you don't have a job, do you? No, okay, good. Uh, right, we have a ravine here. Definitely want to be careful of that. Oh, that looks cool as well. I want to check that out too. Um, right, I won't go ahead and pillage this entire village. Not today. Um, but hey, we can we can convert rotten flesh and whatnot. I do want to check out the blacksmith though, because that might have obsidian for us. We also have a librarian, which we can trade paper for emeralds. That's really cool as well. We got a bell. There's a skeleton over there. Yeah, this village is quite big, actually. Now, where is the blacksmith? I saw a blacksmith. Ah, right here. Here we go. Here we go. Um, Grindstone. Nah, I'm not going to steal this grindstone. Not today. Uh, let's see. Uh, we got some iron. We got a brand new iron pickaxe. Some bread, which is actually good. I needed some more food. And an iron chest plate. Uh, actually, I'm gonna leave that here because I'll need my inventory full. So guys, remind me that I actually have this here. Um, that is good to know. Hello, sir. Coal for emeralds. And I saw another librarian real quick. Two librarians. Okay, so one person vanishing. That's not a very good deal, buddy. All right, but we have these two here. Maybe we'll be able to get a mending trade out of them. That would be pretty cool as well. 
Now what would be really cool before we continue is to actually take down that tree over there and get the saplings from it. So I can actually start a tree farm with the spruce wood uh, back home. That would be really, really good as well. Because then I have another type of wood I can use for building and stuff. And look at this as well. This is so cool. Now this... Oh, we have another spruce forest over there. That's really cool. Now we are at 1.17. So there should potentially be goats maybe roaming around here. I don't see any right here. I think that will be a task for another episode to explore in this general direction. Um, but I just saw a spruce tree over here and I really want to get my hands on the saplings. All right, I got my sapling. That is perfect. Let us now go ahead back home. Well, not home, but back to the spider spawner and let's start building this thing. It's going to be good to be able to get an XP farm early on in the game and also get a way of getting a bunch of... Whoa, boy. Gotta be careful. Uh, get a way of getting um, a bunch of string, which we can then later on use for wool and whatnot. Because eventually we will want to mine for netherite. And most efficient way might be bits? Question mark? Maybe? Early game anyway? Alright, I found the other cave spawner, uh, cave spider spawner, and it is actually closer. And also it already has somewhat of a roof, so I think this is the one that we will actually be working with. So first things first, I need to remove this surrounding wood right here. And I'm also going to be needing a bunch more inventory space. So I definitely need to set up a little bit of a crafting station over here somewhere. All right, inventory has been emptied. I can now actually start working on this thing. So what I want to do is first clear out all of this, but then I need to make sure that I need to clear out four blocks. So one, two, three, and then Right here is the fourth right there and keep removing these cobwebs. There we go. So that's one, two, three, and four. So we basically need a square here. Now what I need to do is I need to clear out the entire area in here. Uh, yeah, in this nine by nine area. So it's gonna, it's gonna take a little bit of digging, but uh, I'll be right back once it's done. Maybe I should have grabbed the iron from that uh, blacksmith so I could have made a an extra pickaxe. But oh well, it's fine. All right, the area has been cleared. It is time to now sleep. Oh, come on. Now what I need to do is I need to actually raise the roof one more because we need three spaces uh, in between the spawner and the roof. So one, two, and then we need to remove this layer right here. Now, don't worry, I know this is looking extremely ugly right now, but don't worry, I will make everything look nicer. Next, what I then need to do is I actually need to go down two. So one, two, we need to clear this entire area out. So for that, I will definitely need a new pickaxe. Um, but yeah, I'll be right back. <laughs> uh, this is kind of a pain when you don't have like enchanted diamond stuff that just almost instamines this terracotta stuff, but oh well. This is fine. And there goes my pickaxe. Oh, I did have an extra one. The blacksmith had an extra one, right? Oh, that's perfect. Perfect timing. All right, the floor has been completely wiped right here. I need a little bit of a doorway. Now, what direction is home? Where is the other spawner? I believe it is over here somewhere. Right, so that this way is home, which means I want the collection area to be in this, uh, this side right here. So what I need to do then is I actually need to really quickly go ahead and make an infinite water source because I will be needing that. And this pond right here is perfect for the purpose of that. That, that couldn't have been more perfect. Now what I need to do is I need to place water in this corner, go back up and place water in this corner right here and then dig down here where the water doesn't touch. Now before I continue, I do want to kind of put some sort of shape to this thing because we do need this to be a building after all uh so i need to place in a roof here and kind of make a box around this thing um so yeah this is gonna be interesting i have no idea how pretty this is going to be um probably not very pretty at all <laughs> um but i'm gonna try and make it look somewhat okay good and can i please lower the volume of the water somehow there we go. Much better. All right, that's good for now. I do not want to completely remove 
all light because um yeah that could potentially be quite bad <laughs> i do not want to take that risk now what i need to do is actually somehow make it so that i can have water in this row of blocks right here and this is actually something i would probably never had thought of because what will happen whoa hello oh no uh yeah it's 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 a little bit too dark in here um i was afraid of this <laughs> so let me go ahead and uh yeah you you're gonna be an issue you're definitely gonna ow, be an issue especially because of the poison okay let me um this is bad let me put some torches up Right, so basically this is going to push the spiders down here and they might potentially climb up this wall. So what will happen is we'll place water up there and they'll basically just drown. So that is, that's that. I, now I need to get out of here. <laughs> then what I need to do is I need to go up here and place some signs right here. And then I need to place water in that entire area up here uh really wish i had another water bucket that would make this a little bit easier all right water is in place let's cover that up so nothing comes in from the top into the farm the next thing i then need to do is i need to make a little bit of a hole right here uh this should actually be covered up then we go down definitely place torches because we do not want to get attacked nor stuck in here so go six in this way so one two three four five and six should be noted that facing the spawner there actually needs to be two holes right there now what i need to do is place some fences here like so open them up and this will basically make it so that when we remove these blocks right here the water will flush down pushing anything down here but the water itself won't go down i also need to actually expand this area quite a bit here so let me do that and my pickaxe broke that's great that, that's great 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 i've been demoted to use stone tools that's not the best feeling in the world now i need to place a double chest right here and put the harbors facing into the chest like that this is basically where the the string and the spider eye will end up in that chest right there then i need to place some stairs right there and here as well I think I can remove that and place some blocks here, I think. I'm entirely sure, but I think. <laughs> and then we need to place some slabs on these two blocks right here. Then I need to place some slabs here. I'm not sure why, actually. Um, but I'm just following along here. Do that and do that. I think this should work. All right, almost done here. Place this, place that. And we actually need to remove this. And make a way here, because this is where we will be collecting the XP. This is where we'll be killing the spiders, of course. And I think I will put a stair there just to make it look nicer. And then right here is where we will be killing... Eh, oak plank, why not? This right here is where we'll be standing and killing the spiders. Hopefully we should be safe in order to do it and not get poisoned. And again, this is where we will then collect the uh, experience. All right, this should be it. All I need to do now, I need to do one final thing, and that is give my get get that back, and then I actually need to place water in this hole right there, and then in that other hole as well. But first, I need a way out of here, and probably just gonna dig. Yep, that'll work. I need some ladders then. Need some ladders and then I can just dig straight down. Well, go down through a hatch. All right, dig this hole out again because now I have the ladders on me. Just like so. Uh, uh, place the water because then we can block this off. Come on. Oh, this is painful. <laughs> this is painful. There we go. Do that. Place the slab here. Place the trap door on that. Take the ladders. Put them like so. And then I think I should be able to just do that. Perfect. Sweet. All right, I've spent a little bit of time making this look a little bit nicer, both on the inside and on the outside. I think it is good enough for now. What I need to do is, that terrified me a little bit, I need to eat. 
Um, then I need to remove these blocks right here and not get dragged down with it. <laughs> there we go. Like that. And then I need to get out. Go up here. And then I actually need to remove uh, all the torches because we need these spiders to start spawning now. So that's going to be fun. I uh, need to remove those as well. If I can. That's one. Remove the other one from here. That's one. I eh, can't reach it. Come on. I don't think there's another one down there. Okay, I need to get out right now. <laughs> I'm in the danger zone. All right, there we go. I should be good. And then, of course, I need to remove the, the torches from the spawner itself. There we go. One, two, three, and four. And I do not want to get hit into that. And it is now working, I think. Now we just got to close this up so no sunlight comes in this way. Just like that. And boom. That's a pretty good cube. Then we should be able to go down here. Close that. And there's the little fella. And yes, there's some light here, but that shouldn't be an issue. And we can now stand here and kill them like so. And collect the XP like that. All right, I'm going to leave this ring in there. I will clean up the inventory. I will AFK for a little bit and let's see how well this actually actually works. I mean, so far, not bad. So I will be needing a sword to kill these guys. So let me go do that and I will be back after AFKing for a little bit. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back. I have been AFK for about six minutes now. Um, and my sword just broke, so perfect timing. Um, yeah, it's working pretty well. If you remember, I was at level 22 when I started this, and I am now level 26. Plus, we have pretty much a stack of string and 20 spider eyes, so that in my book is not too bad. I'm gonna leave that there. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna call this a success. Okay, uh, then, hmm. Hmm, I, I think I'm actually going to... Uh, I'm gonna move some of this down, actually. Um, I'm not gonna be able to carry everything, but I want the bit down here. So that in an event like this, I can actually just sleep down here. Uh, in case it's nighttime. And also I can maybe have some furnaces and whatnot, so I can do other things. Are you kidding me? I don't care, I'm, I'm punching this thing with my hand. I'm not making another pickaxe. There we go. Alright, so crafting table. I can probably get the chest on t up top. Uh, this is an issue though. <laughs> I will need a sword for that. Now, this is satisfying. Now, if you stand too close, they can actually bite you, but if you stand just out of reach, it is just perfect. Get those levels. And look at that. Getting a bunch of string from this. Um, yeah, I don't know if having the bed in here is actually going to work due to all the spiders from the spawner, obviously. Um, but if I just try and go ahead and kill them all, it is doable. It is doable. You just gotta time it. I just realized I'm at a really bad situation right now. I do not have any food and I'm on three and a half hearts. Um, good thing it's not night time. All right, I'm gonna start moving home. Hopefully not dying. Um, I'm gonna call this project a success. I'm gonna call this project a success. I think it is pretty good and I think it works well. Um, now I just gotta be able to go back home without dying on the way. Um, which hopefully shouldn't be too bad or too difficult, but uh, you, you never know. It's Minecraft, you never know. I will probably have to make a bridge like right here going all the way over so we can actually get to the spawner a little bit easier and faster. Uh, kind of collect the places up. So yeah, that is a project for another time. Plus we have that village now, which... Oh, I can't, I can't build uh, brick blocks. I don't have a pickaxe. Um, but yeah, we do have that village now. So that is something we need to think about if we want to use it for something, potentially. Ah. Yeah, that, that could be an issue if these trees grow like that. That's, um, that's not exactly what I want. I want the small ones. So I may have to place some stuff to stop them from grow, growing that tall. And we made it home. Food, baked potatoes. Heal me up, because my health has been dangerously low for a while. 
All right, let me empty my inventory here. All right, before we end this episode, I do want to do a few things. Do I have any dirt? I don't think I have any dirt. All right, that's fine. We'll do that next episode. Um, what I do want to do is I want to make a bow. I think it is about time that I have a ranged weapon against creepers and whatnot. So a bow right there, and I have 21 arrows, so that should be good for now. Hopefully we'll be able to get more in the future. Now, in the next episode, I think we will be going down mining. And the reason for that is I'm completely out of iron. So I think a mining episode going into the caves is probably going to be exciting and also going to raise the blood sugar and the pulse to a dangerous level. Um, but yeah, going down mining, potentially finding more lapis, diamonds for an enchantment table. All that good stuff. I think that is a good idea. So I think that's what we're going to do in the next episode. But anyways, really hope you have enjoyed this one. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe as it greatly supports me. And yeah, that's going to be it for this one. Really hope you have enjoyed. Again, the link to the tutorial that I followed is down in the description below if you wish to follow it. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day and goodbye. Zapuo e fluik ni maja, gustavan ting